All I gotta say, hey. football back, yeah, football back, football back, football back. All I gotta say is football back. Hi, this is Coach Daniel with FootballOffense.com. Today I want to talk to you about the inside trap play, one of the most effective plays in offensive football. The inside trap is a really simple play that we can run out of any front or any uh, formation that you want to run it out of. You can run it out of the eye that we've got drawn up here. You can run it out of a split back. Um, you can run it out of a shotgun formation, whether it's one back, great play out of a pistol. Uh, there's just a lot that you can do, and you can run it out of an empty formation and use the quarterback to run the trap as well. So you've got a lot of options as far as how you want to run this play. The inside trap that we're going to draw up here is going to be your basic inside trap out of the eye formation. And we're going to draw it up against what would be a 4-2-5 or a 4 4 defense here. Uh, and then you can also run it against odd fronts, run it against really anybody based on our rules. First thing we've got here, very important block is the center blocking back on the person who's lined up over top of the guard. In this technique, in this case it's a one technique, defensive tackle who's lined up over the guard and he's the one that we've got to make sure doesn't get through where the guard's pulling so the guard can get a clean pull to the other side of the play. So the first thing is our center getting this back block here on the one technique defense attack. Our, our uh, guard over here is going to come down inside and work his way up to the back where he's going to make sure that this tackle doesn't scrape over the top of the center block and get in the way of the play and then he's going to work his way up to the linebacker on, on the uh, back side. Our play side tackle is going to try to work his way down to this linebacker, pick him off, there's a good chance that this linebacker will flow hard over the top to try to get into where this play is going and we're even giving a little bit of a look of a play going this way. So a lot of times we get this back and going across the play, and that's fine. We just want to take him wherever we can take him. We can still seal it off and make a wall for that back to go through. The key block that we have, of course, on the inside trap is, is the trap block. And this is a block. The offensive linemen will need to spend a good amount of time working on, getting their pull, getting across the formation, up into the hole. And I think it's one of the mistakes that's made a lot in running the inside trap is that a lot of times it's taught or run as a straight trap down the line of scrimmage. That's not what we want because this thing's going to hit quickly. We want to get up into the hole off the butt of the center. So we want to squeeze off the center's butt and turn up into where the ball is going so that if this tackle comes hard down inside and bends with a down block by the guard, which is what he's usually taught to do, then we can still get on his upfield shoulder and drive him out of the play. If we pull too deep, he's going to get underneath us and he's going to clog the hole and force the play to bounce. We do not want that to happen. Backside, the tackle is going to hinge, make sure that this backer isn't shooting through where our guard is pulling from. Hinge and shot and check for him. If he doesn't come, he's going to turn back and handle this defensive end coming off the edge. So he's just got to, again, just like the center, we've got to seal and make sure that nothing comes through this area where the guard is leaving. It can cause us a lot of problems. In the backfield, it just depends on what you run, how you're going to work the backfield action. Out of the eye, we're going to want to step close to the midline of the play. I want to say three tight to the midline here. The quarterback's going to need to open up to give up the mid, the mid line here so the fullback can get downhill now. He can take that ball and then work his way right off the hip of the center. You don't want him to hug the trap block. You want him to hug the block at the center and stay tight. And now once he gets through the first level, he can read off the block on the backer. And again, if this backer comes down inside, he has to put it all the way back across. He's going to have it open. Tight end here is going to get through this end. Uh, if he can beat him to the inside and just keep him collapsing, we'll let him work his way up to the next level. We just need to make sure that this end doesn't get an immediate release into the inside. We we'll want to get across his face. He's out of the picture. Here we've got a little counter action being given by the running back. Quarterback will fake, will give the trap, turn and fake to the tailback, and then he'll boot off a bit. If you've got a series of plays there, uh, depending on what they are, trap, power, whatever it may be that you want to run off of this backfield action uh, counter obviously something else we want to get in there. So that's a real basic inside trap. We use our receivers to 
soft block the corners, or you can bring them in, try to get the touchdown block on the safety. It's a fantastic play, one that uh, probably should be a part of most offensive schemes out there. Hope you've enjoyed this, that would be helpful to your team. Uh, please come by footballoffense.com, visit us, sign up for the newsletter there. We have more and more information building up on the site, and once you be right there with us, let us know what you think. Appreciate you listening today. Have a great day.